What's your problem? Aren't you happy for me? Why is your face like this? Of course, I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm just, I'm confused. Who proposed? George? What do you mean, George? Francis proposed? Oh, so Francis won. What do you mean by Francis won? No one was or is in a competition. <sighs> I'm just saying, since Francis proposed to you, that means you're leaving George, right? Says who? Says nobody. Nancy, it's only normal that you leave George since Francis has put a ring on your finger. <laughs> so because Francis proposed, I should leave George? Well, if you don't want to leave George, you shouldn't have accepted Francis' ring. Well, I can't lose any of them. <laughs> well, hey, I, I don't understand you. What are, what are you saying? My darling, you should understand. My dear, you should be happy for me. Uh -uh. Girls don't get this these days. <laughs> Hey, oh my, this is hilarious. <laughs> okay. Matthew, you know this judge is, is a billionaire. His late dad willed properties to him. If I marry George, I will never have to suffer in my life. But then the fact that he's a billionaire doesn't change the fact that he doesn't give me attention. He's only back into the country to take over his father's properties and run his father's company. Yes, yes. Francis, on the other hand, he's charming, calm. He gives me peace. He gives me attention. But then financially, he's not stable. Today he has money. Tomorrow he doesn't. But then... Nancy, you know you cannot. Please. Can you just let me talk? Let me, me talk! Who says I am dictating, Nancy? Who? Look, you met Francis through me indirectly. He's my boyfriend's friend. And honestly, Nancy, I do not like the way you are deceiving him. Deceiving? Who is deceiving who? I am wearing his ring, remember? I love him. In fact, I love him as much as I love George. So I'm not losing any of them. You're confused. I am not confused, madam. No, really, think about it. You're a confused I am person. not confused, okay? I know what I am doing. I am not. Well, I know that no one is perfect. But then with your different imperfections, it makes everything perfect for me. I have a guy that is rich, gives me everything that I want, and then I have the other one that gives me attention. It's not because polyandry is not allowed in this country. Babe, why are you overworking yourself? You don't expect me to abandon the company, do you? No, that's not what I'm saying. You are a boss. You have staff that works for you. You can assign some jobs to them and they will gladly do it. I'm just asking you to spend some time with me. For oh. us. The fact that I am in charge of the company does not mean I should come and sit at home all day. My father always went to the company till he died. Uh, your father had no wife. You were out of the country at that time. He had no other thing to pay attention to other than his company. Neither do I have a wife, nor children. So I have the time and energy to put in the work. Wait. You don't have a wife? Then what am I then? My girlfriend. <laughs> and what is the difference? A wife has a ring on the finger, whilst a girlfriend doesn't. Okay, so... Are you telling me that you don't have any intentions of putting a ring on it? Baby, I have not even engaged you yet and you're complaining about me working too much. What would then happen if I engage you? What point are you trying to make? Look, I'm not ready for any commitment right now. I am not asking you for commitment. I am just saying that you should spend some time with me. Just show me love. I make it up to you, don't I? Hmm? 
I will send you some money later. Uh, this is not about money. Does it have to be money all the time? I'm, I'm talking about quality time here. Quality time! You don't want my money? Whatever. Yes, my darling. Hey! Tell me why I will leave George. Oh my goodness! Oh, more. <laughs> Wait, why am I even surprised? He's always doing this now. He's always sending you money every now and then. Mm -hmm. But I assumed he was doing that to cover up for his absence. Hmm. Well, now that he is back, I have devised another means of getting money from him. I'll just start a quarrel. You trip him for being absent, and then bell, he'll send me more money. Nancy, the gamer. Okay, you know, I wonder what will happen if we eventually get married. I will be so bored <sighs> and alone. Fortunately for you, my sister, you are getting married to a caring man. <sighs> What's that face? Sure, you know you cannot marry two men. Of Nancy. course, I don't want to marry two men. I'm just having fun. Okay? Mm. Not that serious. But hold on. Have you ever thought about what would happen if they found out? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Madam, there's no way, no way they are ever going to find out. It's just the both of us that know about this. Except you want to snitch on me. Okay. I just hope you know what you are doing. You know, sometimes I wish that this life was balanced. I mean, George has the caring nature of Francis, and then Francis has the wealth of George. I could have just picked once. This life hmm. is not balanced. Um, well, this is interesting. Hmm. I just hope you know what you are doing, Nancy. It's okay. I cannot wait to see how you end this game, Sha. Whatever, madam. What are you preparing? Because I'm starving. Better hurry up. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. See my madam. Hey, auntie, come and cut onions. Oh, come on. Where is that paper? Can't you see my nails? Auntie, auntie, come on. Can't you see? <laughs> come, come, come. Yes, auntie. No problem. I'll catch you. I told this girl, you're looking at this woman because say she no carry more to come, you won't push your customer for me. Do you know how much that woman spent? How much? 600,000 naira. What? 600k? Are you expecting someone? Mm -mm. It's Francis, Francis, you're ring. Hello everyone, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Is Nancy in? Yeah, 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 she'll um, join you right okay, away. Okay. Um, do you want some biscuits? No, thank you, I just want to see Nancy. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's, she's here. Hi, baby. Hey. Hey. You didn't tell me you were coming. I know, honestly, I just started missing you all of a sudden, so I decided to come and see you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Francis? Congratulations on your engagement. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, I'll let you guys be. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Baby, you're always looking cute. Thank you. And you're always looking beautiful too. <laughs> Thanks, and I can't baby. wait for you to get married to me. And I can't wait to be your missus. Aww. <laughs> Hello? You just call me silly for real. All right. Take care of yourself. Was that your fiance? Mm -mm. That was my boyfriend, George. Oh. Nancy. What is it? Please, can you just let me be? 
Please. I'm not ready for all this plenty talk, please. Okay. No, well, uh, I just feel bad for Francis who thinks he has found a wife. Francis is my fiance. George is just a boyfriend. Okay? There's nothing to worry about. And besides, please, I'm not ready for this lecturing talk, please. So, baby, you'll be spending this weekend with me, right? Babe, this is the fifth time you're asking me this question. I just need to be sure. Because this is not the first time you're making promises like that and you end up changing your mind if something comes up. Well, I am here. I'm spending the weekend with you. Okay. There you go. <sighs> it's Yvonne. Okay. <sighs> Hello, what's up? What you mean, what's up? Mm, I mean, how are you? I'm good. Where are you? Huh? Are you home? Uh... Why are you asking? What kind of a question is that? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you home? Yeah, I am. Okay. All right. This girl, can you imagine? She's asking me if I'm going to spend the weekend with you. <laughs> She's just being a caring friend. Can you see? Yeah. So I have it to myself. Yeah, you do. Mm -mm. I thought this girl said she's spending the weekend at Francis, please. I'm coming! Oh, hi, George. Hey, Yvonne. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, did you tell her you were coming? Yes, I called her earlier on and she said she was home. Oh, she did? Is she not home? Yes, yes, um, she is. L let me just, let me, let me get her for you right okay. away. Okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, do you know what? Sorry, I forgot. She, I, I guess she did not want to disturb you because of your work. So um, she had to go see her mom. Her mom is very sick. What? Why didn't she tell me? Um, I, I guess she forgot and she didn't want to disturb you. <sighs> okay, um, thank you very much. Okay. So my hands are off. At the end of the day, it is your game. Play it as you want to play it and stop involving me. Hold on, you're joking, right? No, I am not. Yes, you are. No, I am not. Yes, you are. I am not. Yes, you Nancy. are. I am not joking. Really? After all I've done for you, is this what you're going to say to me? Just this little thing that you can help me do as a friend, you can't? Nancy, for how long? Huh? How long do I have to keep paying you back? It's been 10 months, Nancy. 10 freaking months. Okay, so I should pay you back until the day I die. Abby? Really, you can't quantify it, okay? <sighs> hey, Gorgie. Hey, Bo. Have fun. <sighs> so, George sent me some money. He said I should spoil myself silly today. <laughs> My girl. Ah, ah. Wow. So you're taking yourself out on a date? Yep. Hmm. That's nice. Look at you. You're balling. You know, <laughs> you know so like this, like this, now money will be your problem. Ah, you can say that again. <laughs> um, let's see. How far now? 
You know, I've been singing it in your ears that I need to start my hair business as soon as possible. Oh, and you're what? not even saying anything. I said it's a great idea. Oh, you know, it's no beauty now. I hear be that now. Eh? Babe, borrow me the money now. Eh? I could pay you back. You know, see your boyfriend who I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Okay, fine. I'll talk to George about it. Hey! Hey! Get, 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 my girl! Wait, wait, wait. So, I just allow me to finish my makeup, please. Okay, okay. And by the way, by the way, by you look, words. you look like a billionaire's wife. Eh? I like the sound of that. You know? Look at you now. I found you one. Go! Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Hey, hey, someone left this house with only handbag and came back with the entire label. So what's going on? Baby girl. A lot. Ah, ah. George got me all of this. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Hey, hey. this guy is spoiled. Oh my god, look at the color. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. I know, right? What else is in here? Did you buy anything for me? Of course! <laughs> this one. This one is for you. This one. See, anything I'll make you touch this one, it's not the one you add to it. Eh, eh, what is it? Let me see this purple one, this purple one, this purple one. Hey, hey! Wow! Oh, this is and cute. see anything I'll make you touch this one. This one is my own. Don't I touch it. I'll not touch it. I've heard you. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. I know, right? George is a sweetheart. This kind of the use you play. Mm -hmm. At all. <laughs> oh my god. This is what I like. This is the energy now. <laughs> what else is in here? <gasps> this is so hot. Oh, Jerry, let me help you and arrange your stuff. Bye. <laughs> this guy is not playing with you. I like that energy. That's what I talked about. It will not be, not be on this one, so we'll just stingy anyhow. <laughs> this is nice. Babe, check job. your phone. My phone? Uh -huh. What's going on here? Nancy! That is a lie! Oh my god! 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 Oh my Thank you so much. Oh my god. Oh my god, Nancy. I don't, I don't know what to say. What more can I do? Let me help you. Hey, it's Let okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, my friend now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I just much. want to be able to cover the expenses. It's okay. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you so it's much. Fine. Thank you. Come here. Hey, gorgeous. How far are you? Ah, thank you, uh, Jesus. Ah! Oh, Benny, give me my juice. Why did you not bring for me? No, be fridge, did you? Uh, hey, sure you remember that guy? The one on right that came to my shop opening? I introduced you to him now and said he was my boyfriend's friend. Which guy? The guy on red now that I told you, ah, meet my boyfriend's friend. Oh! Oh, that calm, cool dude. That's one. Okay. Let the boy have. Um, uh, the guy has been bothering me for your number. Why? Which one is why? You be JJC. Because he likes you. Mm hmm Oh. He even wanted to talk to you that day, but I told him to calm down. Calm down that what? Why did you do that? Uh -uh. Because you have a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend? Yes. I don't understand you. So if you see Nancy now, you will see me like someone that has a boyfriend. Ah. No, I mean a real boyfriend, though, not an absentee boyfriend. A real boyfriend that gives me attention, that I can carry everywhere and say, this is my boyfriend. You will believe. Please, I beg, I beg. See, babe, if any boy, mm. any man that is fine, has money, mm. ask you for my number mm. with immediate alacrity, immediate effect, give him my number. Eh? You want to cheat on George? I beg, I cannot do that too. I will Why not help you? you cheat. Why can't you do that? 
Cheat that what? Hmm? Just small thing of giving my number to a good person. You cannot. But if it's me now, I'll be able to go all okay, and... Okay, okay, okay. Ah, Shebi is your number. I want to send it to him now. Better. Or before you blackmail ah. me. It's only emotional blackmail, you this know. This girl, I don't understand you. Is it not your mate that used to introduce that introduced the uh, 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 Mega Marco to Prince Harry? Yeah. If I find I my see. Prince Charming now through you, will you die? See, a girl is single until she's married. When they ask for status, they say, okay, married, single, divorced. There's nothing like in a relationship. My darling, with this era now, if you have a boyfriend, it means it's complicated. Not lie. If you have a boyfriend, you are in a relationship. It means it's complicated. <laughs> This girl, you are very stingy, yo. Juice, stingy. Number, stingy. Auntie, go and go to the fridge and carry juice. Don't stress me. Stop, Joa. You're making me blush. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Okay. Fine. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> I'm guessing that's not George. <laughs> George can stay on the phone with me for up to two minutes. Okay. So is that Francis? Uh-huh. Nancy, honestly, I don't understand you. Well, you don't have to understand me. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to lead Francis on? Or are you trying to cheat on George? I am not leading anyone on. I'm just going with the flow. Okay, no oh. wahala. Keep going with the flow. I just hope it does not lead you to the wrong direction. It won't. Okay? We take okay. life too seriously. That's your problem. Okay. Why are you in my room? What you come here to do? Ah, what you know? No, I just came to do a maple. So my chat is this girl. Baby girl. Ah, baby girl. Mm -hmm. I had mad fun today. Hey, and you now forgot your wristwatch at home, Abby? I don't understand. When was the last time I went out on a date? An enjoyable date, too. <laughs> Not just anyhow one. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> uh, babe. Mm -hmm. This is not funny. Okay. This is not funny. What if George finds out you went on a date with another man? What will you do then? <laughs> How is he going to find out? When he's not even in the country. That one, mm. he's never around. Always Girl. busy. Mm. Well, is Francis aware that you have a boyfriend? <laughs> God. What kind of question is this now? So you expect me to go and tell him? Or you are going to tell him? It's none of my business, so. Better. Keep it that way. On no account should these people know about anything. I hear you, ma. That's my friend. Mm. <laughs> now why you no know, carry take it, we come back, Abby. <laughs> I can get her. So you need to get her. I am running your I mouth. I say make you get her. I'm advisor. <laughs> <laughs> this girl. You be thief. <laughs> Later, Joy. Babe, if you see music today. Later, <laughs> sis. Uh -uh. I need better G's too. <laughs> You're a fool. Hey, I'm heading to the boutique. Uh, Nancy, uh? sure you know you cannot leave your business at the hands of sales reps. Uh, you're right. I intend going there, but I have a guest today. A guest, okay. <laughs> Talk of the devil. <laughs> okay, so tell me, how do I look? Here he is, Francis. Thank you. You are welcome to our small house. <laughs> this isn't small. 
Hey, Yvonne. Hi, Francis. How are you? I'm, I'm good. Um, I, I, I was just heading out. Okay. Right. Uh, make yourself comfortable. Thank you, I will. <sighs> Madam, don't overwork yourself to death. Hey. <laughs> Alright, make yourself feel comfortable. Thank you. <laughs> what should I offer you? Anything you have. Anything? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll start with my drink. Here. Okay. I was just joking. Sure. I'll get you something. Thank you. I think I have feelings for Francis. You have feelings for Francis? No, what I meant to say is that I love him. <laughs> what? I mean, what's not there to love? He is nice, he's caring, and he loves me too. <laughs> Nancy, I don't understand you. Honestly, I don't. For see, whatever is going on in your head, I beg. I beg, I beg, better fix it. Fix it. Whatever feelings you think you are starting to cultivate for Francis, eh? Uproot them. What is this now? But why? Why should I? He makes me happy. When was the last time I was this happy? When? Okay, good for you that you're happy. But what about George? Mm. Huh? What happens to him then? George will be fine. George will be fine? Mm-hmm. Nancy, do you hear yourself at all? Seriously, do you hear yourself? I beg. Get a hold of yourself and stop acting like a confused mad woman. I am not confused. Neither am I mad. <laughs> This is, that's why you are my friend now. Hmm? I'm confused. It's your position to be able to clarify things for me. No. I don't know what your heart wants to. So I cannot do that for you. It's okay. Sometimes I don't know if you are my friend or my auntie or my mother. All of them join together. Check her at her boutique. Yeah, I'll go there right away. Francis, what exactly is going on between you and my friend? <laughs> she didn't tell you. Mm, tell me what? We're now an item. Oh, so she was right after all. Mm -hmm. So you guys are like dating? Dating? For weeks now. Wow, <laughs> okay. I guess you really like her. Yes, of course. <laughs> Yvonne, I just want to thank you for making me Nancy. Yeah. You don't know how happy I've been these days. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am glad that you're happy. Yeah. Thank you so much. So you think this is what the try, right? I mean, you're happy, right? Yes. And she's happy. Mm -hmm. So why the hell not? <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. All right. Have I'm a good day. Now. Okay, you too. Bye. Bye. Why are you calling me by this time? It's just a few minutes after 10. Don't tell me you're sleeping already. Yes, I am. Um, please, can I call you back later? Oh, all right. Uh, Bye. I love you. Baby, who is that? Um, that was the one. Well then, 
my love. Thank you. I'm so grateful for Yvonne's open party. I wonder what I've found this beautiful lady. This <laughs> is the hundredth time you're saying this. And this is the hundredth time that you're blushing. <laughs> Baby, I've meaning to ask, how did you manage to pull off such a massive boutique? Hmm? I mean, I'm just curious because what I saw in your boutique when I came isn't small. Uh, babe, I didn't just start today. I started really small until I grew to this point that you saw. Wow. You're everything a man needs. I mean, you're beautiful. You're a good cook. Okay. You're well mannered. <laughs> <laughs> you're successful, you're independent. Trust me, baby, you're just perfect. You're making me blush. <laughs> and no one is perfect. You're perfect for me. Baby, this is extraordinarily delicious. Oh, baby, thank you. You're welcome. Baby, you should start eating and stop pressing your phone. Oh, hmm? Babe, I'm sorry. It's my clients. They just want me <laughs> to send your orders out. Mm. Mm. Well, babe, I think I need more water. Oh, is it spicy? Kind of. Oh, okay. No, no, just a minute. Mm. Ah, just Thank like you. This. Okay. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I was just surprised when I saw this credit a lot. Who sent you such huge amounts of money? A lot? Yeah. From who? One George. George? Yeah. Um, babe, that is my client's husband. He wants me to change um, the wife's wardrobe, so he just sent <laughs> me the money now. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, baby, don't worry, I'll do it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> It's your choice of movie, so we have to watch it. No, no, you want to try to change it. <laughs> we enjoy this movie like that. Sorry. Hey. George is PAC. Babe, we yeah. need to go to the room. Um, Yvonne has it store and we need to give them prices. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I'm it's sorry. Fine, it's fine. I know you guys are having some issues. It's fine. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. It's okay. Let's just go okay. to my room. To my room. Make sure you solve the problem. Yeah, yeah of course. Hi. 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 I saw you, but you seem to be in a hurry. Oh, yes, um, I was pressed. I needed to use the bathroom. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Um, is Nancy in? Oh, no, she's, she's not around. She went out not quite long ago. But I think she'll be late, because... Oh. She's going shopping and then later she'll stop by her boutique. Mm -hmm, no, that's fine. Um, my boss asked me to deliver this package to her. Oh, it's okay. I'll take it then. Alright. Um, my regards to her. Alright. Thank you very much. Alright, bye. All right. See you. Yeah. What kind of stress is this? Why am I the one always sorting out this girl's mess like I'm the one who put her in it? I don't tire her, I don't tire her. can hear me. And if you like, I pretend. If you like, cover your ears like you are dead. I will still say what is on my mind. Ah, what is it? Huh. What is it? Why do I always have to keep covering up for you? I'm tired. So I'm tired, want... Nancy. You're tired, so you want to what? Snitch on me? Nancy, 
Do you think it is every time that I'll be here to do this? Huh? What I'm asking you to do is to be my best friend. Keep my secret like it's yours. Guard it. That's all. It's not so difficult to ask. Hold on, hold on. No. Is it because of the money you uh, gave me that you keep asking me to do this? Isn't that enough reason? Oh. Nancy. Ha! Wahala. But seriously, why are you doing this? Honestly, what do you stand to gain? Uh, can't you see what I'm gaining? Isn't it obvious? George, he provides for me, he buys me gifts, he takes care of me. Although he doesn't give me attention. And then Francis, on the other hand, is such a sweetheart. He gives me attention, makes my, my mind at peace. Okay, so? So? So, I intend keeping the both of them. Ha! Besides, guys, they do this thing every now and then. Why has he got into my turn? It's not a problem. But you know you can actually do this without involving no, me, No, I Abby. can't, I can't. These are friendships for better for worse. If I enjoy, you enjoy. If I suffer, you suffer. Huh? You think it's only for good times? No. I don't enter one chance. Good, the bad, and the ugly. How do I enter one chance on top of best friendship? Then, till the wheels fall off. <laughs> till the wheels fall off. Like this now, we are partners. It's just that we've not established the, the company yet. But we are partners. Ivan, I understand that you have been covering up for me, and it's not easy for you. Then save us the stress, Nancy. Save yourself the stress. Because, baby, honestly, me, I'm tired too. I'm tired. So, if you were in my shoes, what would you do? I mean, isn't the right thing obvious? I would leave George since I'm already in love with Francis. Leave George? But it's so easy for you to say because you're not the one wearing my shoes. Have you forgotten my boutique, your hairline? This house, it's all just effort. Okay. So you think you can keep up with this forever? <laughs> Girl, you need to wake up from that dream. Babe, please. Let me enjoy this dream of mine while it lasts. Okay. Voila. Me, I have just said my bit. I am done covering up for you. You can't be done. You are my friend. You have to be by my side. Yes, Mom. Cover for me. I've heard you, ma. Okay, so you're outside. All right. Okay, I'm coming. Who's outside? George. He said he's outside. Hey. Are you school? Okay. so much I know I have not been the best man to you but I thank God for blessing me with an amazing and understanding woman like you I don't deserve you but I still want you by my side I want you to stay with me I want to spend the rest of my life with you and that's why I'm going to ask you to be my wife. Nancy, will you marry me? This is yours, baby. Um, Mine. Yes, it's all yours. Oh, you, can, you can have a look. Have a look. Okay. Congratulations, oh, baby. Congratulations. Oh, For goodness sakes, Nancy, what exactly is your problem? Yvonne, can you stop shouting? I will not. 
Okay, then continue shouting. Seriously, another ring? What are you going to do about the first one? Okay, so what were you expecting me to do? Reject his proposal? It was because of the car gift, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Even without the car, I will still not reject his proposal. Seriously, Nancy, have you gone mad? Hey, hey, please. Can you please don't insult me? I am not insulting then you. Stop shouting I'm at me. I'm not shouting at you. Honestly, Yvonne, I didn't see this coming. I had no idea that George was going to propose anytime soon. Okay, now that he has proposed and you've accepted, what will you do next? You know what, I'll just, I'll just sort it out, please. Uh, oh, Shay, sorting machine. No problem, I cannot wait to see how this ends. Thank God you're here. Please just come and help me pick a dress. Uh -uh. You're going out. Am I supposed to answer that? Who are you going out with? <sighs> it's our first date after our engagement. Oh, George. I'm even surprised that he's taking me out. <laughs> this is so unlike George. Hmm. Okay, so after this date now, when next are you fixing appointments with him? Madam, please, can you just help me pick a dress and stop being sarcastic? What if you bump into Francis? <laughs> There's no way in hell that is ever going to happen, sis. Nancy, I think... You... Yeah, madam, please. I just want you to help me pick a perfect dress for this date. That's all. I don't need a lecturer or a, or a mother right now, please. You're right. I'm not any of those. <sighs> oh, by the way. I don't like that. Oh, oh um, again. What? I hope you're ready for two marriages. Can you imagine this girl? Oh my gosh. This will be perfect. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. There comes my queen. <laughs> Wow, you look so beautiful. Thank you. Hi, George. Hey, Yvonne, how are you? Very well. Congratulations on your engagement. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Baby, uh, this way. Um. <laughs> okay, I'll see you. <laughs> Two rings, one woman. <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, now you want to enter my car. Look at this one that I want to help her life. Oh, please. I just want to manage it so it will not look like I'm proud. Manage it. I will go and come up with a Do you know how much my brother bought this car? Hey, babe. Hey, um, I can't put down the sleep. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm fine. Uh, who's this? Who's it's Yvonne. Yeah. <laughs> Yvonne wow. just got a car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did. Wow. Well, nice one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to drive, remember? Right, <laughs> right. She wants me to reverse the car for her. Okay, so uh, I used to go out. <laughs> Baby, now you're here. Of course, I can't go out. Let's go in. Okay. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. Take yeah. your car, madam. <laughs> Learn how to drive Thank your car. You. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I I had to do what I had to do at that point. Really? You had to toss the key at me just to cover up your own mess. Madam, why are you acting like I killed someone and then I framed you up? I only said that you own the car. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal? No, it's not. Really? 
Well, if it wasn't a big deal, then why did you not tell fiancé number one that fiancé number two got you the car? My darling, you're overreacting. I am overreacting? Yes. Oh, I am so sorry, ma. I'm sorry for overreacting when my dear friend chose to save one of her relationships at the expense of my only relationship. What do you even mean? Okay. What would I do if Francis tells my boyfriend that I own a car? Huh? Francis is not going to do that. He's not a loud mouth. Listen, Nancy, if this works against me, I promise I will tell everyone that cares to listen that you own that car. It's not going to get to that, okay? We will come up with something else. We'll come up with a brilliant lie, something. Okay? You it's say not going we. To get to that. We. We. You and who are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, eh, I beg. I beg. Keep me out of this mess that you put yourself in. I'm not in a mess. Abby, you're not in a mess. Mm -mm. And you always say that now because you don't like to accept your own reality. Okay, I've heard you. I have heard you. Alright? I'll come up with something else. God! You better do it fast. Fake life, fake life. Get Stop out. lying! Get out. Sense. Back here? Yeah, of course. Oh, this is really great. <laughs> <laughs> I know what they want to go for your pasta. It's so oh, okay. nice. Maybe we we'll try something different <laughs> next time. Just to be sure, right? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? Let's just go to another restaurant. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. Please, let me take this call. Take this call, it's George. Just take this call and tell him I'm sick. <sighs> Hello? Hey, babe. Uh, sorry, sir, it's, it's not your girlfriend. She said she's sick. She's sick? Eh? Um. Um, the thing is, she's so sick that she cannot even stand on her two feet. As I am speaking to you now, and her eyes are yellow, like bright yellow. She cannot even raise one hand up. And her ear is spinning, her, her nose is running. Oh my god. Eh? Is it that bad? No, no, it's, it's not that bad, though. Do take care okay, of her. Okay, no me. problem. I can't come over mm, right okay. now, but I'll right, send no some problem. money for her for treatment. Ivo, <clears throat> what sort of nonsense talk is that now? I don't understand. Is that what I sent you to do? Just tell him that I'm sick, that's all. You made it look like I have, I have stroke. Hey, Yusuf, why are you lying to him? Because he wants us to go for a business meeting when I'm supposed to go on a date with Francis. Oh, hey. <laughs> so, you're not lying to George just to hang out with Francis. Does that mean you're loving Francis more? What it means is that I prefer going on a date than a business meeting. Hey. What's your problem? Small talk like this, you reach your tone, you don't turn and say I guess true. And see, go inside and, and go, go and be you see. Go and be see. Said, it's not good, don't you know, like you I'll leave you alone. I'll soon change best friend, don't worry. <laughs> She's not, she's, she's not there, she's not there. Um, she, she went to her boutique. What do you mean she went to the boutique? Um, I thought she said she couldn't walk. Yes, yes, she could not walk that time, but then she received a call from the boutique and she suddenly found strength. What? That is crazy. You know, I left a business meeting because of her. I'm, I'm sorry about that. 
Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll just go to the boutique. Yeah? Okay, Thank you. okay, sure. Good, 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 Nancy. Baby, you know you can't be doing this, right? Huh? How can you be this sick and still be going to work? Babe. Don't babe me. Sit down. Let me call my doctor to have a check on you. Doctor. There's no need for that now, babe. I'm just tired. I need rest. What do you mean there's no need? Can you just let the doctor have a look at you? Babe, no, no, just, babe, no, 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 there's no need for that now, no need. You just be wasting money. It happens sometimes. It's just stress. So you're saying I shouldn't call the doctor? No need, you're wasting money. Oh. Okay, no problem, but you're going to stay here till you're perfectly fit, all right? I'll stay here. Yes. Let me get you something to eat. You want something to drink? Mm-mm, my mouth tastes bitter, okay. And you're sitting here telling me you don't want the doctor to have a look at you. I said I'll be fine. I'll be right back. I said I'm fine. I said by force. Babe, I saw your missed call. Babe, I'm actually at a night vigil, okay? I'll call you back when I'm done. Uh, all right, um, we'll talk later, okay? We'll talk later. All right, bye. Yeah, miss you, bye. Lord. Uh, you, you scared me. How, how long have you been standing there? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I, I was just pressed, so I was using the, the restroom. How long have you been standing there? Well, I didn't see you in bed, so I decided to check up on you. Oh, you just came? No, I was just coming in and you came out. Oh, okay, right. I was pressed. Can we go back to bed? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <sighs> Why am I feeling like things will soon go wrong? Well, if you're feeling that way, then it's likely to happen. I think I've made up my mind to come up with something. Like? Like, let go of one and keep one. Okay, so who's going? That's the problem. I don't know. Nancy, mm? I am tired of having this conversation with you. When you make up your mind, let me know and I will support you. Yvonne, hello Francis. Then what's the problem? the problem? Go with Francis. The problem is, what is going to happen to George? He got me the car, the boutique, your hairline, so many good things. What are you going to do about that? You know, now that I think about it, it was all about the money for George. I remember how you met him. 
and what attracted you to him? Heels are killing me. See, babe, this is the last time I'm ever going to follow you out without you buying a car. Ha -ha. See, I'm so stressed. The way you are shouting now, somebody will think I asked you to come with me. Shebi, you literally forced yourself on me. Why are you shouting now? But at least buy a car. Yeah, you buy your car. car. You said buy a car. You are older than me, then buy a car first and, and I'll follow. Buy a car. <laughs> older than you by one week. If you are not ashamed of yourself. Okay. Hello, beautiful ladies. Hey. Hi. Waiting for someone? Yeah. You? Me? Yeah. Well, why don't you hop in then? Sure. Let's go. Let's go. Mr. Sivi likes off her head. Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. That's why you're all over him like fly all over sheets. Me, nice. Mm. I died here. I'm calling him tonight. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Bye. It seems like the guy likes you. Mm -hmm. He won't like me. But I would suggest you call him tomorrow so he doesn't look like you're cheap. Mm -hmm. Cheap care. See, babe, whether I call him tonight or I call him tomorrow or I call him next year, a guy that wants to still be a demon will still be a demon. <laughs> you see this one there? Eh? <laughs> I will choke him with my love. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl, next yes, time, yeah. eh? You see, put me on that road again. I love it. <laughs> ah, now you love it. <laughs> Why you shouting? You, <laughs> <laughs> you just want to shake your big nyash. <laughs> you were never really in love with George. You didn't fall in love with him like you fell in love with Francis. You fell in love with his pockets, his business card, his company, and all the luxuries he can give you. And now that you've gotten all you wanted from him, I just, I just hope you can follow your heart, Nancy, and be happy, truly happy. Yes, I came to pick up a file. Okay. I have to get going, okay? Um, George, there's something I need to talk to you about. Baby, it has to wait. It's right? important. Mm -hmm. Later. Oh, and um, I'll be going to see your parents this weekend so we can start our wedding preparations. Let me know what I need to take to them. I'll send you money to get them. I love you. Take out the house. You want to meet my parents? Why are you sounding shocked? Yeah, it's just that all of this is coming as a shock to me because I didn't expect it to come so soon. What were you expecting? That you wear the engagement ring for a year? Come on, babe. I can't wait to have you in my house as my wife. Um, yeah, um, please, can I call you back? Please. <gasps> What's happening? Why is everything happening so fast at the same time? There's no direction right now. <sighs> okay. Where were we? Yeah, so why don't you just take both of them to your parents? 
Is that a joke? Am I mad? How can I turn something that serious into a joke? My darling, you are in a huge mess. And you are in it by yourself. Me like this, I don't have advice to give you. Oh, so now you want to just leave me, Abby? You want to just up and run and leave me in this mess? Nancy, forget the fact that you assisted me with my business. So, eh? At the end of the day, this is your life. Okay? And it is more important to you than it is to me. Really? Really? Fine. You're right. Of course, I am. I mean, you could have stopped this at the early stage when you found out you were in love with Francis. But no, you decided to continue and keep playing games. Now look at you. They have both proposed to you and they both want to carry on with the wedding preparations. <laughs> okay, fine. I agree to everything you've said. But now what do I do? What do you want me to do? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Because as it is now, I am in the audience and I cannot wait to see how this movie ends. Well, you are not in the audience, so you are part of the show. Mm? In fact, you are a character in the script. They play. Don't forget that <laughs> the money for your hair business was from George. So if I go down, you, my friend, will go down with me. Hey, well, I don't wear pants. So you are not threatening me. <laughs> uh -huh. Babe. Listen, everything I did, I did out of gratitude. But if you say, make her refund you, don't forget that I am now a big girl and I can chest it. Mm -hmm. Big girl, yes. you can chest it. Don't forget, yes. I know how much you have in your account. Too. In fact, the whole shop is just money. Mm. So my dear, let's start thinking of what to do. If I go down, you, you will go down. Mm -hmm. There's no escape route here. <laughs> Auntie, gue, gue, gue. go and find solutions to your problem and stop looking for who to drag down with you. See, eh? let me tell you something. If you cannot make up your mind and you are confused, just marry both of them. You are mad. Mm -mm, I'm not. Go and marry both of them. George, I thought you were busy. Can we go see my parents some other time? See, what I'm trying to say is that... Come on, you worry too much, Nancy. It's fine. Oh, God. Hola. Who is that? Hey, baby. Nice ring. Um, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so I was thinking we should see your parents this weekend. Okay, what is it? Are you busy this weekend? Yes, I am. Yes? What would you be doing? I mean, no. Francis, I think we should take it slow. Everything is happening in a rush. <laughs> what do you mean by rush? I mean, this is me trying to do what is right here. Okay? Every other thing can wait, Nancy. So we'll see your parents this weekend, okay? See, wedding is big budget, too. And I don't have money now. Baby, look at me. Mm. I'll take care of everything, okay? We'll see you at breakfast weekend. Yes. Mm? Let me get myself something to drink. Yeah. This weekend. Yeah. <laughs> the right to laugh at me it's not your fault uh -uh. before uncle is it my fault and yes i have every right to laugh at you and i will laugh so because i have problems now and i came to you for advice that's why you're laughing at me do you think that your life is any better than mine <laughs> auntie i did not say my life was better oh. i know my life is not perfect and that's why i kept begging you i beg be cool. Stop coming to me with your problems because I have my own problems. Mm? But you will not listen. 
Anyway, as for advice, the only advice that I have for you is take the one you love to your real parents and then rent a parent for the other one. Annoying me right now. Ogbe dear see. My room is not a counselor's office, so I'm not a therapist. I'll be therapeutic or which just leave me alone, I'm hungry. <laughs> So it's me that Yvonne is making a mockery of. It's not her fault. This life ain't get how you could get problem, eh? Tears will come out for your eye fast, fast. You self could laugh yourself. Oh, Allah. I can't eat my cake and have it. So Nancy, face your problem. Hi. Hi, Francis. You sounded urgent over the phone. Have a seat. Okay. I hope all is well. George, we are going to stay together and spend quality time. Look, I know I've not been there for you physically, but honey, I have a company to take care of. You knew this before you accepted to be my woman. At least I take care of you financially. Oh, so you think that's all that matters? What are you insinuating? Are you expecting me to leave the company and spend time with you at home? But I've been dealing with this for the past one year. And you will have to continue to deal with it until I'm able to spend some time with you. Right. Tell me, my darling fiancé, where will that be? <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. You see? I thought you knew what my love language was. It's fine, you can go. No, just go. Baby, can you stop? Stop. I'll see you when I see you. Mm. And I'll send you some money, okay? Mm. Today. What should I do when I miss my baby? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a weird person, you know that, right? You made me that weird person. Uh uh, no. You should blame this one on yourself. I didn't ask you to fall in love with me. Okay. Will I regret falling in love with you? Mm. Hmm? Will I regret falling <laughs> in love with you? Mm -mm. Never. 
<laughs> so can you go home now? It's getting late. Mm, still have some mm -mm. time. <laughs> <laughs> I said I've made up my mind to go with Francis. Is that why you're laughing? No, 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 no. Look, what you said isn't funny, okay? What's funny is the picture I am creating in my head. So I'm going to walk up to George, throw his ring and say, I'm done with this relationship. I mean, what about the millions he's been spending on you? Your boutique, the car. And the hair business that I supported you with. So are you suggesting that I dump Francis? Is that mm. what you're saying? I'm not suggesting anything. So what are you saying exactly? Because as it is right now, I am already tired. See, as it is right now, eh, what will happen should just happen. Because what nonsense is all of this now? Just racking my head and all of that. <laughs> now, now, now you know. I'm even call George, sir. Hello, George. See, we really need to talk. It's very important. I said it's all gems. Please, you need to talk. Oh, God, I miss you. <laughs> what is this? I'm sorry. Sorry for what? I'm sorry for everything. Church, I have been lying to you and I can't keep up with it. Can you just talk in clear terms and make me understand why the car key and ring is here? I'm calling off the engagement. What? Here is your car key and your ring. You think I can't see that? I ask again, why are they here? Honestly, I, I am so ashamed to give you a reason. I'm so sorry. So you're just going to call off the engagement and walk out? I'm, I'm deeply sorry. I can't anymore. Is it because of Francis? What? How did... Francis? What is going on here? Don't look at me. They found out themselves. Francis, I am really sorry. Okay, I didn't plan for all of this to happen this way. After investing so much in you, you give your heart to someone else. George, I'm sorry. The heart wants what it wants, and I'm really sorry. I didn't plan for all of this to happen. I had your conversation the night you made a call in the bathroom. You were in my house and you were telling the other person you were in a vigil. It was so glaring that you were cheating. I wanted to confront you, but I kept my cool till you slept.
Are you listening to me, Francis? I have a very short message for you. I hate that I'm doing this, but I don't have a choice. Who am I speaking with? The name is George, and Nancy is my fiance. What are you talking about? She lied to you about being in a vigil. She's actually in my house. Are you trying to tell me that my fiance is in your house as we speak? Stop talking nonsense. You hear me? What bullshit are you talking about? Nancy is my fiance. You know what? As a gentleman, I will let what you just said slide. I don't want to see you anywhere close to her. Do you understand? You're the one talking bullshit guy. I'm engaged to Nancy. What? I'm here. Okay. <sighs> it's just me. So we're engaged to the same woman? The boutique, the car, they were from me. Nancy lied to me. I'm surprised she's been up to this for months and I did not know. Why is she doing this? I mean, people cheat, double date. It's a common thing, but I have never heard where a woman is engaged to two different men at the same time. What's she getting from this? What's she driving at? Exactly the same question I've been asking myself all night. I want you to do me a favor, Francis. Do not mention anything to her. Let's watch her make a fool out of herself. Let's see how she's going to sort this out. We can spice things up by bringing a married talks at the same time. Okay, let's do this. Even I thought you were my friend. <laughs> Francis, I am your friend. Then why did you do this to me? What? Okay, I'm, I'm confused. Can you just go straight to the point? I met Nancy through you. You knew she already had someone and you let me fool myself up onto the point of slipping her finger into a ring. How, how did you find Is out? Is that the question you should be asking me? Okay. Calm down. Francis. I'm sorry, okay? I just could not say anything. You just couldn't say anything? Look. Nancy found happiness with you. You told me you were happy too. I mean, what would you have me do when you both were happy? Plus, it wasn't in my place to talk about it because she wanted to keep it a secret. Why is she doing this? Francis, the thing is, George has done so much for her, okay? And she does not know how to leave him since she fell in love with you. So she wants to marry both of us? I, 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 I don't know about that. But I know she plans on doing what is best for her. Francis, I'm sorry. Please. When Francis found out, he requested that I don't mention it to you. 
So when you told me you've uh, made a decision, I informed him. And that's why we're here. I know there is nothing I will say here today that would justify my actions. But deep down, I am really sorry. I am truly sorry. You should have left when you found someone better. One that loves you and gives you attention. That would have been less hurting instead of scamming me of my money. I'm sorry. I didn't intend to. I didn't intend to scam you. Well, just so you know, you are very, very ungrateful. This is tough. But this is not our house and we need to go home. Come on. Let's go. Nancy, can you stop this hide and seek game? Come out of this room, it's been two days straight and you've not eaten anything. Nancy, Nancy, if you do not come out of this room right now, I will put a call to your mother and I will tell her everything. I'm serious. Nancy, look, I know it's not the right time to say this, but this is all your fault. I don't blame the guys. You must have known this will happen someday. You should have prepared for it. You cannot keep starving yourself now, Nancy. You won't die. See, in this life, whatever you are going through, make sure you eat. It's very important too. Nancy! See, I prepared your favorite meal, oh. Are you sure you don't want to come and eat it? What were you saying over the phone? Francis, I get that you're angry. Okay, trust me, I understand how pained you are. And you have every right to be. But I need you to please find a place in your heart and forgive Nancy. Please. I've forgiven her. Francis, come on. Look. Nancy really loves you. Trust me, I know that because, I mean, she fell in love with you while she was dating George. And even after everything he had done for her, she was never ready to lose you. And then when it came down to decision making, she chose you, Francis, over him. I mean, that should count for something. What point are you trying to make here? What I'm trying to say is that 
I know you still love Nancy. Yes, Francis, you still love her. Because there's absolutely no way a love as true as that can just die. Look, she regrets her actions. She wants your forgiveness. Even if you will not come back to her, just, just find, find a place in your heart and just please forgive her. Please. What is she doing here? Just come on. Please, just, just hear her out. I... I honestly do not know what to say. I know you don't deserve the lies. You don't deserve... You don't deserve any of that. You were a good person to me. And I am sorry. I know at this point, I, I do not deserve to stay here and ask for your forgiveness. Oh, please. Please, yes, I lied several times, but what I'm sure of is how I feel about you, and it's real. Francis. Please forgive me. Please. I know I don't deserve your forgiveness. But if only you can find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am really sorry. To be sincere, I'm angry. I know. Hurt. I'm sorry. Pained. Please forgive me. I feel really disappointed. But I know this phase will pass. But my love for you will always, always remain. I just need time to, to get over all this. But let my ring remain in your finger and never take it off. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 